Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. We're gonna do this today. Whole bunch of goodies and I'm telling you what, it smells magical. So let's get into it and check it out. Everything from lifestyle to candles to bath to jewelry to hair. We've got a little bit of everything in this pile. I am just so glad that I managed to keep that all standing upright. Feeling very proud of myself. This is our subscription and unhollow palooza. Actually, I only have one thing here that's technically not a subscription box. It's a subscription to me. I just don't generally unbox it. And I just wanted to dive right into all of these. So right here on the edge. We're gonna start with mint mongoose. I actually have two. You guys know because I was sick a lot of December and then we went into spoilers. I am behind. I thought about saving one of these, but I wanted to show you guys both of the ones that I have so you would have all of the information as quickly as possible. Mint mongoose is a monthly jewelry subscription. The woman that does it, Helena, did it so that she would be able to stay at home with her kids each month. What she gives us is based on something that has happened in her life. We have this and on the back it says, Home We Come, and then this one is Opportunity, and it says each day brings us a new opportunity. And then you can tell on the back of each, she has a little story about how she came to choose this jewelry. First, we're gonna open up Here We Come Life and see what we have. Each month you will also receive a little Werther's in there just for some fun and your bundle of jewelry. I choose, you can choose. And when you sign up, you choose necklace and earrings or necklace and bracelet. And if you would prefer to choose them all, you can also do that. You let her know whether you want silver or gold or mixed gold, if you wanna be surprised. You are the driver of this train. First out, we have the necklace and this is how it comes packaged. I can tell already that it looks lovely. Ooh, this looks kind of, I don't know. It's kind of to me, a cross between an angel and a fleur de lis. Let's see what she tells us on here. No, I don't see on here where she says what she thinks it is. But to me, it looks kind of like either an angel with wings or a fleur de lis. They are both very pretty. The necklaces, they come, she has them set on the smallest setting usually, which I think is 16. And then you can see you have at least a three inch extender. I will bring up a ruler or I will get a ruler. I don't even know that I own a ruler for next time because I think probably it's a 16 to 20 inch necklace. And then I choose earrings. I prefer earrings to bracelets because I almost always have my Fitbit on. And right here at the beginning of the year, I'm not even willing to tape without my Fitbit. <laughs> I used to tape without my Fitbit, but I run up and down the stairs when I'm taping and I wasn't getting credit for any of that. So you guys are going to be seeing the Fitbit. And the earrings are exactly the same as the angels on the pendant. I like that. I, it's a nice, it's just a French wire with that on it. You also receive the little, can you see that in my hand? The little, the little plastic backings. Can you see that in my hand? You receive those in case you need them to keep, like I constantly play with my hair. So for me, sometimes it makes sense to secure them. So that was the Here We Come Life. And now we are going to open up Opportunity. I have my Werther's down there and it's the same packaging. I have my bracelet. Nope. <laughs> my necklace and my earrings. I do not choose a bracelet. And also I choose gold. I mostly wear gold. I do kind of blend metals, but as a rule, I lean toward gold. Ooh, this is pretty. That is super pretty. So same size necklace, same chain in theory, but look at this. Can you guys, how pretty that is? They're like pink hanging. I, I don't even know what to describe it as, but it's just, it's just, oh, that might be better in front of my shirt. It's just really pretty. Oh, fun, they are the, let me show you these. They are the little pink things, but just one on each. I did not come up with earrings on. Actually, I came up so excited to tape, I came up with no jewelry on. I know where my ears are. Oh, I love that. It's just a subtle dangle, but you can tell it's there. That is so sweet. I like that a lot. That was our mint mongoose, I think probably for December and January. It's too soon to have February yet. They are all so pretty. We have this pretty pink set that I have the earrings on for and that necklace. And then we have the one that, like I said, I think look like angels. That is the necklace and then the French wire earrings. It's this exact same pendant piece. 
very pretty. I will put all of the information for Mint Mongoose down below. You don't even need a code. When you sign up, your first month, you're gonna get a surprise free necklace and you don't need a code for that. So you can just go right on over. I will link below. And this box is sent to me free for review. Next off the pile, we have my Vela box. This is my candle. I lit that candle, I think it came probably two years ago maybe in a spring Margot Elena box. And I liked it a lot, but I tucked it away. And when I just lit it, I liked it a lot already. It's, I don't wanna say it's giving me a headache, but it's, it's starting to wear a little bit. So I will be replacing it with whatever this is just here in a second. It says a year full of love and light. It's got our candle in it. We always have a bonus. I am an affiliate with them. This is sent to me for review, but because of that, we have a code Catherine 50. I will put all of the information, a link down below for you for this and your first subscription, you will get 50% off. Our bonus is greeting cards. Look how cute they are. I love this size because this is the perfect size to do when you do gift bags to tuck inside. I really like these. We have happy birthday have one that you could make just anything it's I'm sure blank on the inside yes yes I think they're all yes blank on the inside so you can write whatever you want this one says oh it's a book of matches and it says we're a perfect match and then this one says thank you so much these super handy I love having cards around the house one of the reasons that I switched over to Vela box is they're clean they don't use parabens phthalates Anything I can do to reduce the toxins in my house, I'm going to do it. I just, with the kids around, I know, I should care enough just with me and my husband. And I do, but especially with the littles around, you know, they're still little, 4 to 16. I really don't want to put any more toxins in my house than is necessary. And since they take the ookies out of here, it just makes me feel better about burning them. Also, to avoid burning them sometimes, I have one of those candle warmers in my kitchen downstairs. Love it. Could not love it more. Matter of fact... Candles could last forever. My husband was saying the other day, what are you going to do with all your candles? Because I put them on the candle warmer and I let it warm up and the wax melts and it fragrances my house fantastically. Never gives me a headache. And I love them. But it keeps doing it. And it's not burning away. So I'm going to have them forever. <laughs> So I'm just acquiring candles now because I'm not burning through them because I'm using my candle warmer, except for whatever I use up here. He's not wrong. <laughs> it could become a problem. This is our candle this time. It's called Birch and Pepper. When you sign up, they ask you a bunch of questions. What scents you like, what foods you like, things you don't like, what you lean toward. They ask so many thorough questions that they get a wag on who you are and what they think you would like to send because they work with one new artisan each month for these candles that are paraben free and phthalate free, people who meet their standards. And then there's usually a couple of cents, two, three cents, and they pick the one that is best for you based on your profile. Just reaching in for the card. This is, oh, I don't want to read that yet. Well, we know birch and pepper. Let's see if it's any more explicit than that or if I can guess what, what we think it smells like. That is just so pretty. Oh, wow. Men's cologne. Sexy men's cologne. I would love my husband to have this as a cologne. That smells so good. He's going to think I've had people in the house. <laughs> I cannot even... <laughs> begin. I could not have told you birch nor pepper and I cannot even begin to tell you any of the other notes in here. Let me read to you about it. This is from Z Candles. They are out of Lake Oswego, Oregon. They are passionate about creating comfortable cozy spaces with a hard belief that candles are an important element in creating a desirable environment not only in the appearance but also in the aroma. They are 100% soy wax derived from domestic soybean. They are dye and phthalate free, meaning no chemicals are released into the air while burning, making them safe for you, your little ones, and your pets. This is birch and pepper. It is sweet and spice. It's very nice. They say it is cardamom, black pepper, and hints of mandarin and sandalwood. I mean, I love sandalwood, so it explains why I like it so much, but men's cologne. This candle offers a unique and invigorating aroma with a kick of spice. Perfect for energizing your space and adding a touch of exotic warmth. I will agree. It seems very exotic to me. That's very nice. I kind of want to put it right there and start burning it now. But I also kind of want to take it downstairs and put it under my candle warmer. 
because it doesn't burn it. I think I'm going to do that. I am going to have to go downstairs and pick one for up here though because that one is not working for me. If you have any other questions about Velobox, just let me know. It comes in a cute little canvas sack each month. It comes in three sizes. I think you can get four, eight, and 16 ounces. This is the biggest. It is 16 ounces. Each month you will also get a bonus. This month it was the cards and phthalate free, paraben free, all the goodies so you don't have to feel bad about burning it in your house. Okay, next out, and we're just gonna run through this real quickly. This is my Vegamore. I have just been waiting for this. The box, I buy the serum as a three pack because when you do this you save money but this is supposed to be three months worth and even with all this hair although it's technically not hair based it's head based it takes me a little more than a month probably a month and a half to go through a bottle because I put it mostly here I mean I do drag it through it's in a dropper I do drag it through the rest of my hair but this probably lasts me I'm gonna say five months somewhere between four and five months. So it was time for my refill. I am halfway through my last bottle, so the timing was perfect. I have it on subscribe and save, but even within subscribe and save, I go in and change it. I am in no way affiliated with Vegamore though. If you've watched the channel for a while, you just know my hair was thinning and breaking so much to the point where I was like, this, this has become a problem now. And I started using the Vegamore just the serum and immediately felt like it made a difference. To the serum, I also added shampoo and conditioner. So every day, pretty much, unless I use one of my masks. Unless I use one of my masks, I use the Vegamore shampoo and conditioner. Here's what I realized about myself. I use more conditioner than shampoo. You know, it's gotten fuller, it's gotten thicker, and it doesn't take much of their shampoo to get a really nice lather, I know. You're not supposed to be all about the lather, but I am. It's a really nice lather. But then I use a lot of conditioner. So I needed a backup conditioner because I run out of conditioner before I run out of shampoo. And it's not like two to one. I probably have like this much shampoo left when I've run out of conditioner. So this, in theory, will straighten me out for probably a year. This is probably the difference in a year. I just needed more conditioner. I don't know. I don't know if it's helping my hair. I don't know if it's just the serum, but whatever the combination is, I had lost so much hair like in these areas that has just, it's just absolutely filled in. My hair is thicker, it is fuller. I have parts here now that are looking like they're breaking, but I think most of it is actually hair growing in. I'm sticking with it for now. And so like I said, in no way, in no way affiliated with Vegamore. Just wanted you guys to know I don't want to be gatekeeping on things that are working for making my hair grow back in and break less. Guys, this has been sitting next to me while we've been taping this and it smells so good. I could just sit here and smell the box. It smells tooty and it smells fruity. It smells wonderful. So we're going to open it up. This is my Southern Fleet bath box. This is sent to me for review. Let me open it up. This is what it looks like. I will put the link and the code. My code is just Catherine down below and it will get you 10% off in her Etsy shop. And I love her Etsy shop. I am now using her laundry booster. Love it. Love the way it makes my clothes feel. Love the way it makes my clothes smell. I think they are super clean. A little bit of information about everything in there. And this is what it looks like. This was the December box, yes. We got way behind when we got sick. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care what the little bombs look like. I'm still gonna use them. This smells magically delicious. I love that her stamp says, when all else fails, take a bath. Nothing could speak to me more than that. First out, we have these. I see them right on top. They are stinking adorable. We've got two orange, a purple, and a green. Christmas light shower steamers. Light up your senses with these essential oil shower steamers. Orange is orange scented, purple is lavender, and green is eucalyptus. It's a lovely eucalyptus scent. Look how cute these are. That is the purple. That is the orange. So they're little Christmas lights. So cute, love shower steamers. Next out, we have a bottle. Do love seeing the bottles because she makes the nicest concoctions. It was in, it was, it was wrapped in this and it is also wrapped in plastic. Should anything go amok, it would be fine. This is Mistletoe Kiss Bath and Body Oil. When you get it out, that is what it looks like. Let's see what it smells like. It's gonna smell like deliciousness because that's all Nikki does. Oh, sealed, perfect. Oh, that is lovely. What is that? 
Is it a little chocolatey? I don't know. Let us see. Based on the fact that everything else seems a little more fruity, it might be fruity, but to me, the initial hit that hit me was kind of chocolatey. Mistletoe Kiss Body Oil. Extra moisturizing bath and body oil that can be used in or after a bath to leave your skin soft and hydrated. Notes of juniper and cranberry with other fruits nestled on a bed of greenery. Nailed it. <laughs> Fine. I never pretend, never ever pretend that I am the queen of all scented things. I think I get it and sometimes I totally do. And sometimes I say chocolate and it's fruit. <laughs> this is Nikki's monthly box and she has a monthly bath box. She has a monthly shower box, but she also just has a website where she does lovely things. And I think the code is good all over the website. Look at that. I'm sure it is a bath bomb. It is a gingerbread house. Shall I go on a limb and say ginger? Yes, I'm staying with that too. <laughs> okay, there might have been some context clues to help me. I don't care. I will just take the win. Gingerbread House Bath Bomb, scented in yummy iced ginger snap cookies. It has blue and teal yellow embeds. Hand painted to look like a real gingerbread house with cocoa butter snow on the roof for extra moisturizing bath. How fun is that? Hand painted and cocoa butter snow. That, she's just too much. Okay, next out, we have a pot of goodness. It is Southern Flake Bath Peppermint Fluff. Let's see what we do with peppermint fluff. I love all of her things that come in a pot. Peppermint Fluff Whipped Soap. Fluffy and bubbly, this whipped soap smells like candy canes and marshmallows. Great for shaving and leaves the skin velvety small, soft. Includes red jojoba balls. Includes red jojoba balls. Oh, mint. It's just so good. I know it's soap. I shouldn't be playing in it, but... Oh, it smells so good. I just... I just want to be her friend. Anybody who puts these wonderful scents together is okay in my book. Okay, next out we have, it looks like a candy cane. She's got these all so well packaged. Try to get them out. We've got wintergreen mint bath bomb. How cute is that? Looks like a wintergreen candy, but green. I love wintergreen. I prefer wintergreen. I think for smelling, peppermint and wintergreen are both the same. I might lean for smelling a little pepperminty, but for eating, I prefer wintergreen. Wintergreen mint bath bomb. This refreshing bath bomb is fragranced in a sweet mint fragrance with blue embeds inside, made with cocoa butter and coconut oil to moisturize your dry skin. I love that for winter, we've got those coconut butter and coconut oils in there. And I think last out, something good. Get it out of here. Looks like a Hershey Kiss. But it is more peppermint colored. Ooh. Can you see all of the pink in that? Oh, it smells amazing. This is the Peppermint Bark Kiss Bath Bomb. This large bath bomb packs the kiss of Christmas and is scented in mouth-watering peppermint bark. This is where the chocolate scent is coming from with red embeds. Yeah, this is just unbelievable. I want to smell like this. That was our spectacular Southern Fleet bath. This would have been for December, but now you worry. She does it every month. So I'm sure she has a lovely January box out now that will not disappoint. I have never, never, I don't think ever been disappointed by even one of her products. We have the Mistletoe Kiss body oil. This is just heaven. It is called Peppermint Fluff. I had to look and see what she called it. This kiss. Oh, it's minty and it's chocolatey and it's lovely. Our little mint bath bomb, the gingerbread house bath bomb. Both of those with cocoa butter in it to help soothe your skin. And then, see if I can get them all in one hand. Da -da! Our little Christmas lights shower steamers. You could save that little eucalyptus one for when you have a bad cold. Make a note really hard in your brain because I had my cold and I forgot to do all of my eucalyptus. <laughs> It was a very sad day. That is what it looks like. It smells heavenly. It just smells like you want to walk into the shop. You walk into the shop, you're like, yeah, I'll take whatever it is that's making it smell like that in here. And last, but absolutely not least, we have our Fruit for Thought. Fruit for Thought is a lifestyle box. 
It is a themed box. We get food in it. We get kitchen gadgets. We get lifestyle things. Sometimes we get toys. We get, we get everything. It's always the most fantastic theme. It is called Fruit for Thought because it just used to be fruit and veg, but now she's picking other themes and it's kind of fun to be going where she's going with these other themes. Let's get in it and see what this is. This box is sent to me free for review. And keep in mind, when I'm showing you late boxes, it is 100% on me. Between being sick in December and then having our spoilers, I am absolutely behind. They are not behind in sending their boxes. It is 100% me. Okay, open this up. It is January, so I am technically taping this in its month. That is what our card looks like. And on the back, it tells us a little bit about everything we have. It is fruit punch. That sounds magically delicious. That's what it looks like when we open it up. First off the top, we have, this is interesting, Fruit Loops cereal straws. And it's a five count. I guess you drink your milk through this and it makes it taste Fruit Loopy. Oh my gosh. The kids will love this. That is so fun. Fruity Crunchy Snack for Milk Sippin' Fun. Fruit Loops cereal straws are back. The delicious fruity taste of Fruit Loops in the form of an edible wafer straw. These cereal straws are a fun treat that tastes just like Fruit Loops cereal. Dunk them in milk and use the straw or eat them as a sweet snack. Next out, we have another snack. We have Hawaiian Punch Cotton Candy. Oh my gosh. Fruit Juicy Red. Again, you guys know, I, I I don't know if you've been around, but I am dieting for a hot minute on the channel and I'm only in like week three, so I'm being drilled down very good. Although we are getting ready to do it universally comes. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I'm going to set this aside and save it for the kids, but I can only imagine, I loved, oh my gosh, I loved Hawaiian Punch as a kid so much. I can only imagine how delicious that is. Next out, I have, oh, a lip balm. Crazy Rumors Fruit Punch Plant-Based Shea Butter Lip Balm. Oh, yum. <laughs> That looks super cute and I, we're gonna get in there. I wanna see what it tastes like. I wanna see what it smells like because this is the kind of treat that I need. I need the kind of treat that <laughs> like Fruit Loops but then doesn't have any calories. How do I get it open? Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Oh my gosh, can you guys smell that? <laughs> it's fantastic and fruity. Will it stay on over my lips? Oh. feels nice. It's melting right in. Oh, it does taste a little sweet. That is fun. That's the treat I will be enjoying. Next out, we have a Sparkling Berry Punch Aloe Body Mousse from Enough Body. That is what that looks like. Let's see what it smells like. This box is encroaching. <laughs> Stop encroaching. was very fluffy when I lifted this off it. Bloof. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? I know that scent. What is that scent? I mean, I know it said berry, but mm -mm. somebody else does a berry that smells like this. <laughs> if you were here earlier for my licorice root disaster, you're just hoping I'm not repeating that. Oh, Pez. Yes. <laughs> I know it sometimes is my go-to for fruity things that smell super sweet and kind of fizzy, but yes, that is exactly what it smells like. It smells like I'm eating a Pez. I want my whole body to smell like this. Yep, I do. I, I, I do. Aloe Body Mousse by Enough Body in Sparkling Berry Punch, a sweet and fruity blend of sparkling champagne berries and fruit punch. An emulsified body butter perfect for warmer weather. It's also good enough for now. Packed full of moisturizing shea butter, avocado oil, coconut oil, and blended with aloe vera. Just for the record, give them a one-two punch with the blend of eight tasty fruits. This thirst-quenching, tropical-inspired lip balm medley by Crazy Rumors hits the spot every time. 100% natural and vegan plant-based. That is fantastic. And last, I think, we have what looks like a huge basket. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this stone basket. Maybe this will look nice behind me. That, oh, look, and it even has feet that it sets on. Can you guys see the feet? What does this say? 
The multi-beaded square basket, this is very heavy, is a stunning home decor piece that combines functionality with elegance. The basket is perfect for organizing and displaying various items in your home from keys and mail to small plants and trinkets. That would be gorgeous with like a plant in it. I mean, obviously in a pot because I'm just saying. Its square shape adds a modern touch to any room, while the intricate beaded design adds a touch of sophistication. Handcrafted in India by skilled artisans, this basket is made with high quality materials to ensure durability and longevity. That is so pretty. That is our fruit for thought this month. We have this really pretty, very nicely sized big basket. We have the Hawaiian punch, cotton candy, the Fruit Loops cereal straw, this berry sparkling punch body butter that is just, it smells so good, and our lip balm that they're on the floor. That was the January Fruit for Thought Fruit Punch theme. It was quite lovely, and I'm back. <laughs> I got our lip balm. What a fun box. That was our haul. Thank you so much for being here for it. I appreciate you taking the time. I will put all of the Fruit for Thought information down below and my code Catherine10, which will get you 10% off any size subscription that you choose. And this is what we have each month. It's just a different combination of products. We have home decor and snacks and lippies and body cream. Oh my gosh, I smell so good. I mean, I smell so good. Thank you so much for coming by guys. I will put links and codes down below for all of this and I'll let you know who I'm affiliated with again down below. I appreciate you taking the time to come over, especially for these longer ones and give us a watch. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when we have more videos coming out and I'll see you really soon. Have a great evening guys.